How do you explain the Michaelis Benton equation to a five-year-old? And let's say you wanted to do it without them even knowing that they're learning the Michaelis Benton equation. Well, don't show them this equation. What you want to do is tell them a story. And the story goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a cocktail party. And that cocktail party, uh, you were at that cocktail party right here. And you were actually representing your company at this cocktail party. And your job was to secure a deal with one of these clients in the room, okay? And what you have to do is two things. The first thing you have to do is get that guy to uh, draw that person into a conversation, all right? So that's the first task, to get that person into your personal space so that you could have a conversation, like so. All right, so that's the first task. The second thing you have to do is once you're already in a conversation is have a really good conversation. See? See all those fireworks? And he has to leave feeling really great. See? See how happy he is? And he's feeling so great that he's going to go seal a deal with his company and, and everybody's going to be happy and rich, okay? End of the story. So this is the second, this is the second thing you have to do, and this is the first thing you have to do. All right, the end. You understand the michaelis minton equation. Congratulations. Wow, that wasn't that bad, right? Okay, so what was I really getting at, all right? So essentially... Well, this scheme is looking at an enzyme-substrate interaction to make a product, all right? So if you look, I tricked you, okay? If you have an enzyme plus a substrate making an enzyme-substrate complex, which further dissociates the enzyme plus the product, all right? So this first part where the enzyme attracts the substrate to make an enzyme-substrate complex is this part where you attract a potential client into a conversation. You draw them in to something that could result in a really great deal for you, both of your companies, right? So that's the first part of the equation, right? And that has to do with something called KM. And KM is, a, is, is basically an, uh, a number that has to do with how attractive the substrate is for the for the enzyme and vice versa, right? So you could think of it as if this guy has a really good KM, right, or a really low KM, which is better, then he's going to be able to attract the person and draw them into a conversation a lot better, okay? So KM matters here. All right, the second thing, that the second half of this story is right there. Once you've got the conversation going, all right, the enzyme, if everything goes well, will release the substrate in the new form of the product on the right side. Well, that just goes back to this part of the story. Once they're in an enzyme substrate complex or a conversation, if it goes great, then he'll leave happy and the product uh, or the, uh, the deal will be sealed, right? So essentially, um, the thing that matters here is not KM, but something called KCAT, all right? So again, KM that's, that's attracting the enzyme to the substrate, and the K-cat has to do with the actual reaction, all right? The chemistry you have with a person. Once you're already in a conversation, how, how well is that conversation going, all right? Both of these things have to happen in order to get the product, which is what you want, right? So essentially... Um, what the michaelis menten equation does is it puts KM and KCAT into the same equation. All right? So let's go ahead and look at how powerful this could be. All right? Let's go back and, and see. Let's go back to the story again. All right? So intermission's over. Let's say you're over here at the party again, and there's only, like, there's only one person at the, at the party. That's a really sad party, okay? So, in this situation, what I'm really telling you is that delta, I mean, um, the concentration of substrate is really low compared to the enzyme, which you, you're the enzyme, all right? So, in this situation, what matters a, a lot is you have to be able to 
to um, draw this person into a conversation, even though it's really awkward, right? So if we go back to this equation, V equals V, uh, yeah, V max plus, no, not plus, times S over KM plus S. If S is really low, what's going to happen? Well, Compared to Km, if S is low, then Km is going to start dominating this equation. It's going to start exerting leverage on the Vmax, uh, all right? Uh, it's going to... So what, what really matters is the ability to track the guy over into a, into a conversation, to draw him in, right? If there's only one person in the room, all right? However, check this out. What if you're at the same party... And there, this is you again, and there are a ton of potential clients in the room. In fact, it's so, it's so crowded that it's shoulder to shoulder. Does attracting, does drawing somebody into the conversation matter as much anymore? No. So KM, look at this. KM is no longer dominating the equation. If S is super high that compared to KM, then KM becomes negligent for all intents and purposes, and these guys cancel each other out, and what happens is Vmax, or the K or the Kcat, which is built into this equation, is what matters the most. And Km doesn't matter that much, all right? What am I trying to tell you? That in this situation, you don't have to worry about drawing somebody into the conversation because you're shoulder to shoulder with them, all right? You're, you're, look, look, you're in the middle of this crowd. You're walking. You don't even have to draw anybody. Everybody's forced to talk to you because they're already so close to you, right? So the KM doesn't matter as much. What matters is once you're in the, the once you're in a conversation, can you seal the deal with each of these conversations, right? Are uh, do, are you do you really have chemistry with each of these guys such that you'll you'll uh, you'll get the the company's deal and get rich or whatever, right? And get the product. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, um, as you can see, the KM doesn't matter as much, but what matters is the KCAT or your chemistry, how well you can interact with the, the enzyme can interact with the substrate to produce the product. And so the beauty of this equation, look, notice how the equa this equation is the same as this equation, but this, the situation was different, and it works in both. So the beauty of the equation, which we'll go back to in the very beginning, is that it incorporates everything, and it doesn't matter what... S you plug in, depending on on what le what uh, substrate level uh, you you decide to plug into this equation, then automatically the uh, the KM or the Vmax will be weighted appropriately. Okay, so let's look at a graph of that. So let's here's your substrate concentration and here's your V, here's your reaction coordinate or whatever, and so. When the substrate concentration is really low, what matters in this situation is the, K, the KM uh, has more of a role. But when you increase the substrate over here, uh, the KM doesn't really exert as much of an effect anymore. And so what matters is KCAT dominates towards the end. But essentially, you need both, all right? And the equation the michaelis menten equation puts them together into one nice tool for you to describe the data that we're getting from our uh, from our enzyme catalysis